What's up, guys? I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Asphalt. We are, you can hear it beating. We're out here with the B-double-Z road today, tomorrow, the next day. So what we're looking to do is, I'm finally done with the Cars Tour video. You'll be able to see it in a couple days on the Cars Tour YouTube page. So what we're going to do is we're finally getting over the B-double. We already got the motor took out. A better suite. Didn't video it. Had a lot going on. But we got to go wash this thing because it is an absolute mess. I mean, there's oil everywhere. So I'm going to carry it over to the car wash, get it washed up, put the little 602 that could back in. So uh, without any other thing to say, let's get started. This is the motor that came out of the B-double zero. Uh, didn't get no video of it coming out. Wasn't really sure if we was going to do a shop video, but you can see right there, the oil pan's a convertible. The block's got a crack in it. So uh, she come apart big time. Now we're just focusing on getting the little 602 that could back in. That's the plan today anyway. All right, it's time, Fred, load bittersweet up. Let's go to the car wash and wash this huge mess up. <laughs> How much purple power you reckon it's going to take? Well, we got two gallons and a... Here's the new bullet. And there's the convertible bullet over there. Two gallons and 32 ounces of purple power and a gallon of uh, B-52. Oh, yeah, we're ready to go. Now, it's about time for you to shave, ain't it? Yeah. We gotta a little, get a little thick in the skin, ain't it? But it's been it, right here. Yeah, been all the time spent right here. I understand. So we're going to go clean this thing out. Spend about $20 at the hand washer. Get this thing cleaned up. We'll not have to grease nothing for, what do you think, Fred, about a year? It shouldn't rust. <laughs> shouldn't rust. Cody, did you bring your uh, wash on, wash off? No, I bought the money though. Brought money, you got quarters? Cause we gonna go, we'll go through quarters like most men can go through dollars at strip clubs. We about to go drop $40 in quarters. Hey, hey, won't you just make some racket over there? Well, I was trying to. Yeah, waking neighbors. Everybody knows what's going on right here. Oh, that's what I'm Are you gonna cover it up? That'd be a hell of a blanket, wouldn't it? Up some daisy. You bought an old pervert. That ain't your time, Mr. Brady. Anybody else? Yeah. Ain't that no pervert right down the way, though. There's anything under there, you'll find it. You'll smush it. Oh. Air compressor. What tight squeeze over here, Free. Let her down. Get Jack stands out. Look like he's constipated. Did not be. There it comes. Hook her up. Let's go to car wash. Hey, that one free spins there, that winch. I don't want to spoil you fellas, but yeah. I try to give you the best of the best. Well, keep trying. I'm going to preach you, Ryan. All right, things hooked up. Let me knock it out of gear and just run the winch up. We'll hurry up and get car washed. Where's the remote? Probably the last place you put it. Well, that's been two weeks, but that's been a while. Well, that's the majority of it was on that side. You got to get her as close as you can. Do a little rubbing, getting it on the trailer every race. Mess ain't half as bad over here, boy, as when we started. Go about two miles, Fred, and you ain't got to strap it down like going to North Carolina, Virginia. Now, you'll have that on them small jobs. All right, Fred, show us your trick. Right there. Can you take this and that way you ain't busting your knuckles on the shackles? I don't want to bust your knuckles. Drag in shackles. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got it. Y'all yeah. take quick behaving before the car wash closes. Hey, that's an important piece there, Fred. We don't need to lose that. Mm -mm. Leave that and we might as well stay at home. Get a little air in these things. Brought purple power from work home with me. 
you today. It's time for my spiel. Super late model, pro late model. Street stock, mini stock, front wheel drive, or your personal car. Let me know. I will bring a new volt battery to the racetrack and deliver it to you. All right, now I'm back to going and washing this car and let's hurry up and get that other motor in. All right, off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. See so if we can't get this thing cleaned up, get this motor put in for supper time. If I don't sell it off in the ditch over there. Use the whole road trying to get this thing out. Roll through the big bougie part of J-Town, downtown Jefferson. Get some donuts and some coffee at the same place. It's the only beer joint right there in Jefferson. Gonna have you a cold brew. Let me know when I pull through, Fred, when the trailer's in there. Give me one of them holes. Oh. Sound like a tugboat driver. Go to roll, you get it up, you gotta get it down. Yeah, alright, just give it to you. <laughs> Damn, we come to the dirtiest car wash in town. Jefferson. Are they down clean car wash in Jefferson? Good stuff. Let's get the squirting. Well, we got a bunch of squirt bottles, degreaser. Go to town. You good? I'll take go over and buy you a cold drink after. I expect uh, something to eat regardless. Something to eat regardless. Just after, you know. Yeah. You can be anywhere else on this night, but you here help them wash the car. Of a motor that you didn't even blow up. That is true. A good friend. Now I'll tell them Get it good. We have electrical problem next week. We'll know why. Yeah. Don't place it. We got a heck of a mess. Get them good, John Wayne. Hey, we ain't washing the car. Motor didn't blow up on the fender. Well, it did, and it did a little bit. It got residual. Oh, yeah, it's part of, yeah, I was about to say, she come out the back. It was a lot of bitter, not too much sweet. <laughs> yeah, Fred, we'll just have to climb under there and do that by hand. Let's we'll get the biggest parts we can get. I went and got some quarters out of the truck. Got a few dollars that I had that stuck in the door and uh, y'all check out what Fred's got. Yes, uh... <laughs> he look like he's getting beads at the beach or something. You got him tied in your shirt? Mardi Gras. I wouldn't take my shirt off. How much you got? You got $10 worth of quarters? $20. $20 worth of quarters. Baby gonna be clean. Well, if we put about four dollars in there, we figured out it didn't work. We just ate up with it, Fred. On to the next one. Put the one down. We're gonna pull over to another one. Are you kidding me? Wanted to make sure the one next door worked before we pulled over here. See if it'll reach over there. See if it'll reach around the corner. Ingenuity right there. We just throwed the one over. Over here to the next stall and put quarters in. Somebody gonna pull over here, won't know where the one's at. <laughs> Tell them pull over next door. We got two minutes left. Fill it up with quarters. Fred brought about a half a week's pay. Might have your cord giving you trouble. Yeah, we want to figure something out then. Well, I had to pull it over here. Yeah, I'd say we don't need to forget that. It's a viable piece. All right. How much quarters we go through? About eleven dollars worth, give or take. He'll put two dollars in one that wouldn't work, or three dollars in one that wouldn't work. Now we'll just get brake cleaner and go through the rest. Climb up under it, get it up in there, clean it up real good, and then we'll put the little six so two that could back in. When well, you count your supper money, I'm going back to the house. Get back to the house, get this thing up on jack stands, start wiping it down, throw that motor in tomorrow.
this thing backed up as best I can. Use each side. Fred opening the garage where I can see to get back. And get this thing up on some stands. I call it a night. Knock back off tomorrow morning. Fred, a steer. Oh, Aaron Creed from Pennsylvania, North Carolina transplant passing through. Where you headed this weekend? South Alabama Speedway for the Rattler. For the Rattler. He gonna crash in the guest room tonight. Any of my racing friends ever need a room in Georgia? We got couches and <laughs> guest room. Got this big house with just me in it. All right, Fred, we'll get it on back. What you think about that wireless remote? I ain't asked you about it. Nice have, ain't it? Yeah. Have finer things in life, if you will. Got it up on jack stands, ready for tomorrow. Gonna call it a night for tonight. Get up early in the morning, go eat breakfast, get started with the fellas. One of my favorite things about being home is getting to go eat at the local spot, the Jefferson House. So, uh, let's go let me show y'all what it's all about. This is Jefferson House. Look who we found here. This Cat morning. drug out this morning. What time is it, Cody? 6 oh, 05. Six. Yeah, we get here. It's when you get the good stuff, shift change. Yes, we're Going here and get us a gravy and biscuit. And then we'll get started on that. Motor, hopefully, we'll get the motor transmission in, everything hooked up today. We can make some smoke. Get ready for Anderson. Two weeks. Uh, today is special. We'll get the country brine stay. We'll get gravy and biscuit instead. Get y'all look at the Holy Jefferson Cafe around here, best biscuit and gravy in town. About well, the only biscuit and gravy in town, other than Hardy's. Now look what the cat drug in. You too, there you go. We know that. Don't look so happy to see us, Fred. I know, Fred. <laughs> yeah. Good afternoon, Fred. Good morning. Glad to see y'all making for lunch. Six. Glad to see second shift finally showed up. <laughs> it's a family show. Mm -hmm. you gonna save that jack off his face? I know. He needs to, don't he? Nah, I kinda like it, don't you? <laughs> I might as well. He's, He's gonna a little thick. I just like giving him. He'll be sad Christmas. Oh, he won't <laughs> Easter bunny. He get frustrated. Why anybody pick on you? I don't know. I think it looks good, bro. You're a pillar of the community now, yeah. the racing community. Here, you tell it. So you got to get used to, I reckon. That fame wearing in on you, ain't it? Everybody mm -hmm. taking your picture? Oh, yeah. I thought charging and I put nothing on You going to print out some headshots? And that's yeah, pass out autographs at the post it. office. Yeah. Up there mailing you. Little baggie on the table. And he come back out and I, he come back out to see if I needed anything. I'm like, no, I'm fine. You going to keep me in a little nickel bags? He said, what? Alright, y'all get up, let's go pipe. We got work to do. Fed you now, I'm gonna work you there. Slide the chair in. Let's get out of this bear joint. Hey, get off the horns. Don't touch them, unless you're buying a battery. Buying one? That's a buying two. <laughs> Alright, you ready to go work? Yeah, yeah. All right, we made it back from breakfast, so uh, time to get to work now. So, uh, got the transmission already hooked up to the motor. So, we're going to go ahead and drop the thing in, try to get the drive shaft in, try to get everything lined up, and hopefully by lunchtime we can uh, make some smoke. So, uh, hopefully have it done by the truck race. Truck race down the street in Atlanta about, it ain't down the street, it's about an hour and a half down the street. But, hoping to watch it today. Going to be cheering for uh, Lane Riggs, a good buddy of the other vlog and in racing life. So, uh Get started. Right. Foreman's here now, so we can get started. We got in there. Lift, lift plate. Yeah. Help yeah. us out a little bit. Get this process done a little bit quicker. What is that? Well, like something you'd use on the bow flex. I don't think it needs to be picking those Chevrolet. That show the people. Where's that? Not where's the piece at, Free? Right there. Look like something you'd use in a bar fight more so than. You gonna know. trust it? Nope. Maybe if I take it to work and have it down modified, I might. I reckon. I ain't gonna use it. Picking up the little engine that could just in case it. It can't no more. 
if it freaking drops it, then... I'm gonna be selling donuts yeah. at the four-way up there trying to get money for a motor. Yeah. You selling us something at the four-way. Yeah, on the pole or the corner. Yeah. Hey, hundred dollars, hundred dollars. How much you want to grudge? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just take with... We'll just take what we got. All right, let's get this thing in. Fred wants to listen to the new Morgan Wallen album. Yeah, he's 60 years old and digs the crap out of it. So I'll put y'all on time lapse because YouTube will hit us with one of those uh, copyrights if uh, you hear music playing in the background. I don't make rules, just follow. Kind of like that racetrack. So uh, enjoy. went in super smooth that might be the easiest we've ever put a motor and transmission in so uh, got the motor mount bolts in get everything else finished up and uh put the drive shaft in put the exhaust on and uh, hopefully be making some smoke soon hopefully for this uh, these birds quit chirping so we're making good time want some hot chocolate no nope. chili this morning yep hmm? at least everything going smooth so far yeah I just heard you when it rains in Georgia. Every time it rains, it gets hot and then it gets cold. You'll have that on them small jobs. I have no knowledge jobs. I got your undersized motor mount bolt in. Lift this side up. Give it a lift kit, if you will. Get this side in. It'll be time to throw some headers on. You need a little lift kit yourself, didn't you? Yep. Oh, it sounds great. Here, my homeowner's insurance. I hope it's called. Oh, there you go. Stand on like you got some sense. I know how to handle concrete. Oh yeah, former masonry. Yep. How many years? Too many. Lay some block and, um, block and brick. Cause this guy brought his Peterbilt down there to be service stone. And one of the mechanics got in it, didn't know how to damn drive it, and they backed it into the wall. Y'all had to go down there and, and lay some more blocks. Yeah, Daddy went down there. Hell, that's probably. Eight, nine years old. You take like that. Yeah. He put you to work? Yeah. Hell, you wanted to eat, didn't you? We'd go, we'd go with him and help him. That's build a, the block, make the mud and shit like that, you know, on a wheelbarrow. Now, let's what, 71, 72? Uh, something like that. And uh, we went down there. He was laying the block. Me and Buddy, my older brother. We got to wandering just, you know, down through the block, looking at the... Trucks. trucks and everything. He decided to crawl up in one of them. He mass knocked it out of gear. Mass clutch. Oh, and that's when it started rolling. That was my roll part of here a lot more. Like that, you know, downhill. And he jumped out of it, took his foot off the clutch, and it quit. I told him I said, Y'all get caught? Nope. I told him I said, uh, we better get our ass back up early, did before we get in trouble? <laughs> Alright, give us a mugger dugger since story time's over. Uh, no, we gotta make it out. Alright. Got it? Yep. Get your spacer in? Yep. Say it to rev limiter. That way they can't say the bolt was tight. Loose. Was loose. Yeah, make a left turn, you always turn right anyway. Yeah. You eventually get where you go. Sweet my gut. 
putting this drive shaft in, and uh, we're listening to Morgan Wallen album. If y'all heard that Tennessee Numbers song, <laughs> Fred, he said, I don't know why she just don't go over to Kentucky and, and call her. Hey, Fred, area codes don't change when you go to different states. <laughs> Your phone area code don't change, though. Yeah, call her from a pay phone. <laughs> <laughs> you stuck in the 90s. I just leave the bitch alone. <laughs> leave the hole alone. <laughs> Alright, drive shaft in. Tidying up up here. We was listening to, you guessed it, Morgan Wallen. He said, good whiskey makes bad decisions. And Fred said, I ain't never made a bad decision. Won't you tell him about the time you, uh, your buddy dared you when you was on that Jack Daniels to walk the middle of the road and you ended up crawling the yellow line with cars coming both ways. Tell them that. I wasn't crawling it. I was walking it. In your head, you was walking I it. I was walking it on my feet. On all fours? Nope. Tell your dog? On my two feet like that right there. Hey, you can't even walk straight sober. What do you tell them? Well, I ain't got started getting drunk yet. How much Jack Daniels had you had to that point? At that point? When you was out there doing a DUI test on your own? Probably quarter of a bottle. Quarter of a bottle. Big bottles. <laughs> oh, a fifth? No, not the one you put in your pocket. The one they put in the bag when you buy it at the liquor store. So was you on your feet or was you on all fours? I heard many stories. Well, you heard stories. I was on my feet. I heard you was on all fours and cars blowing the horn as they came by. Well, I don't know who you heard that from, but I need to get there. You get the story straight. They going to tell lies on you? All right, drive shafts in. What you like up here? Finding the right size wrench? Yep. You'll have that. Eh? Get these headers cleaned up. Go ahead and try to toss these jokers on. They might be done by lunchtime. Hopefully. These headers slid right in there. This must be what it's like putting headers on a light model. Pass me that header gasket there, Fredo. We'll be in business. Got that header on, I'll go over here and see if I can't slide this side on just as easy. Getting closer. What do we have here, Fred? Let's see. Hello, gentlemen. Work started around my... <laughs> what? 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 I said work started around my... What, what'd you say? Clock? Blister. Shows up after all the work's done. You do more work than you have to, so it's my obligation to do less. <laughs> You work so hard, he gonna work less. Yeah. You in Congress? Uh, <laughs> you gonna run for Congress? Me. That'd be a good line. You work hard, yeah. so I'm gonna work less. That's like some uh, be a uh, slogan. Yeah. Well, now that we got the brains here, Fred, we'll have this thing crunk in no time. Yep. I'm just gonna make sure everything's going sweet. <laughs> Something like that. Make some modifications there to our header gasket. There'll be somebody, somebody watching freaking YouTube and say, Fred, that leak like hell. <laughs> I wouldn't have cut it like that. What do you I, think about them comments, Fred? What do you think about them Monday morning crew cheese? That's, that's a mature way to look at it. Shop's open, though. Head is fair. Yep. There you go. Like assholes. Everybody got one. Get like assholes. Yeah. I got the radiator in, get the fan headed in the right direction, we'd be ready to make some smoke. Still got gas in it. All right, we've reached the moment we have waited for since we got up at the dang ass crack of dawn this morning to go get something to eat. Contact. Well, 
that side of the way. I'll put cross transmission cross member on. No Nut and bolt, carburetor leak. Okay. Just a tad bit, got it tightened up. Gonna be ready to go to Anderson. Yeah. Hopefully next Sunday, do a little practice. Yeah. Put water in the, in the gadiator. Well, run good, oil pressure good, sounded good. Got an oil, or oil pump, God no. Water pump leak. Take care of that, and we should be ready to give it a go. Hopefully next Sunday, I got a Cars Tour race next weekend at uh, Florence Motor Speedway, so... Hopefully next Sunday we'll be at Anderson Motor Speedway getting ready for March 31st, Friday night race, 30 lap or 500 to win, street stock race. Be good. Be back close to home again, just an hour and 15 minutes up the street. Well, thank you all very, very much for watching. Hope you still enjoyed the shop videos. Um, after thinking on it, I'm not sure we ain't going to be able to race just as much with the street stock stuff as we did last year, even with my car's tour schedule. So, um... We plan on going to Anderson, March 31st, and then looking at the schedule, some races got moved around, so we're going to go to Tri-County Motor Speedway April 15th is the plan right now. So hopefully the ones of you that was upset that we're going to be as much street stock racing, we got two races planned right now. So, uh, you know, we just pick and choose as we go. So other than that, thank you very much for watching. Y'all know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Take care.